Okay, we're back. Uh, we were able to get this driver back there with a um, with a ratchet attached to it. We we're able to unscrew the uh, the the last screw on this side. Uh, we do have extra screws. Uh, it's so difficult to figure out what exactly needs to be ordered without having the bridge out in your hand. So we were tr trying to troubleshoot as much as we could in advance so that we would be ready for a complete um, change out. You know. so I'm just going to unscrew that last uh, the last screw and now everything is going to come hopefully come out once the screw is, is you know, always say you'd rather have a an anterior screw come be the last one but uh, they're calling me in hygiene right now so I'm gonna have this out we'll put it all in a cleaner and then come right back in here and give our patient a little breather it's, it's just have to be patient with this this type of thing. Now let's try the pick and stick. Let's see if it's ready to come out here. Now this is just a wax on the end of a stick, and still some threads holding it. So let's see. I can't turn it with that. And maybe you can just turn it now with a good old Explorer. We'll go back in with the driver. It's probably just a couple more turns and it should come right on out. Okay. Just kind of angled right now. There we go. Let's try that. straight out. Oh. I'll get it with the pick and stick now. And it's ready. Out it comes. And out comes our bridge. Alright, so now you can see there are the abutments. And there are three of them. So we're going to find out if, if our conical abutments, which are stock abutments, are loose. And of course, there's the anterior one that's loose. This one is loose. And the posterior one is loose. So all three are loose. Uh, this posterior looks like an angled. And the other two look like they're straight. So we were right, assuming that the last one was angled. And uh, still a lot of cleanup to do. Okay. Bad taste. Okay, we'll pick this up on the next segment.